is a way for the game to take on a greater meaning. You play a single player game and there's part of that experience that you cannot get anywhere else. BT! Got you. The universe of Titanfall 2 takes place around five years after the events of Titanfall 1. The militia have actually taken over 25% of the frontier. They're taking it back. They're taking their freedom back. And in that process, the militias discovered this mysterious planet, Typhon, and they don't really know what's going on there. Kuban Glisk is actually back, and he is working for the IMC as a mercenary. As a player, you'll have to face off a lot of mercenary threats, indigenous threats, as well as IMC threats. And if you can survive that, maybe you can save the frontier. Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you, I see potential. Jack Cooper is an enlisted rifleman who wants to be a pilot. At first, he's getting unofficially trained by his mentor, Captain Lastimosa. And when Captain Lastimosa meets an untimely fate, he essentially says, take the Titan, finish the mission. That's a rifleman, the lowest of the militia, being handed the most advanced Titan in the frontier. At first, BC was written in a way that felt very bossy. He wasn't always as much of a personality as he is now. He sees things very uh, literally, you know, almost like a very grown-up toddler. That's insane. I am incapable of insanity, pilot. BT is very carefully built to express. We didn't want it to be eyebrows, you know, like really obvious surprise and anger, but we wanted something. And just having a little bit of blinking in there. His eye just sort of tracks with you and he kind of looks at you and he emotes quite interestingly. Focusing a little warmth in his cold roboticness. This Titan weapon is an advanced design. I think somebody's in love. The bond between Jack and BT was one of those aha moments in development. That relationship brought to light this sense of interdependence between the two that previously wasn't there. Definitely the big tool we lean on to strengthen this bond is our conversation system. This is an interesting way to let the player speak to BT and respond to the situation or not, if they choose. I would accompany you, but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door. Oh, lucky you. I detect sarcasm. You get to engage with him and learn a little bit more about how you feel about him and how about he feels about you. And that evolves over the course of the game as the player proves himself to BT. It's you against the world with BT at your side. It's good to see you, buddy. It is good to see you too, pilot.